In the late 19th century, two great American success stories were founded, football and GE. Their decades of progress mirror each other with expansion, innovation, and modernization. And while GE Healthcare is constantly finding ways to make people healthier, the sport of American football is constantly looking for new ways to keep players safe and healthy throughout their career. Now, because of this focus on health, those two trajectories, two of the greatest stories in American history, have converged through football's sharp focus on the health of its players and GE's advancements in MR technology. This is a watershed moment in sports history, and GE Healthcare is at the forefront of it. The capabilities of the technology are game-changing. We're partnering with sports teams to ensure that their players are diagnosed accurately, and we are dedicated to player health. And with commercially available MR solutions, like our Widebore Cigna Premier and AI-driven applications, we have groundbreaking solutions to diagnose athletes at every level of sport, from peewee football to professional. And at the professional level, GMR plays a pivotal role in diagnosing and treating injuries. Over the last 20 years, I've been involved in track and field at a high level, um, boxing, which I love, Australian rules football, and rugby league, also professional basketball and uh, American football. Main parts of my job are to oversee the, the medical, the nutrition, the physical therapists and the strength and conditioning performance group, kind of collaborate all that information together. In, in isolation, some of the, the information can be uh, not in great context. So putting it all together to you know, round up that information and, and deliver that to a head coach so we can make some better informed decisions. I've been reading MRI scans on professional athletes for a long time, about 25 years or so. Uh, we first started out uh, with the professional football teams and then we uh, eventually branched out to image uh, basketball players, uh, hockey teams, soccer players and college sports. And my job is to uh, oversee the clinical practice of the company. We have 35 locations, um, many magnets, and we do a couple hundred thousand scans a year and I oversee this, so I oversee the clinical work. I also supervise a group of radiologists. We're at Gillette Stadium uh, in Foxborough, Massachusetts, where a relatively famous football team plays. Well, the most common injuries we see from American football players are really are lower extremity injuries, and they would include, um, uh, like for instance, the knee. We see lots of ACL tears or meniscal tears, and really complex uh, ligamentous injuries in the knee. Imagine a 300-pound linebacker falling on you. Um, that's going to do some serious damage. American football's got to be the one that the, with the most contact injuries. We've got 75 collisions. It's like 75 car accidents every single play because it's such a huge impact sport, very different to the other sports that I've been involved in. So the three major injuries that we see are probably the concussions. The, the second and third one for us here is definitely going to be the knees and ankles. Um, and a lot of them are you know, collision injuries because of the, the nature of this sport. But we, you know, soft tissue injuries we've been able to manage really well is probably the fourth one. Uh, definitely the, the ankles are more the high ankle sprains. Um, and knees, it's always the ligaments, like we always worry about the ACLs. We see a lot of soft tissue injuries. We'll see players who have um, muscle strains or hamstring strains and things like that. I get involved uh, in imaging of uh, professional athletes typically after a referring physician or the team physician or the team trainer calls us, tells us they need a scan, what type of scan to do, and then after that's done, they'll, they'll come to one of our MRI centers and then my job is to interpret the images. And after I've done interpreting the images, I'll give the referring physician a call, the, tra the, you know, the team physician or the trainer. We, we would like to treat symptoms, not a scan. That's been always the major rule in sport around the world. But the scan really does help us in just confirming sometimes what we're doing. So something like a knee, when they do get hurt, it's mainly a, a fir the first assessment for the physical therapist and the doc is to make sure it's structurally okay. Uh, the imaging just complements the, the good diagnosis. And it sometimes it also reassures a player that this is okay definitely changes the, the tune for them on just their approach to rehab. So 
The psychological component is quite big for us in that area as well. That com collaborative approach of using the imaging, using good rehab and the, the good clinical assessment, you, you, you don't want one without the other. Well, the challenges uh, we have are much less now than when we scan professional athletes. In the past, when we first started uh, scanning them, you know, we had a 60 centimeter bore. And so it was really tough to, to, to fit them into the machine. Today, with a 70 centimeter bore, it's much easier. The, the, the athletes are much more comfortable. We're able to fit them into the scanner. And typically, most studies that we do, uh, their head will be outside the scanner, so there's no problem with uh, claustrophobia either. GE Healthcare is essential not in just diagnosing injuries of professional athletes, but athletes at every age. And GE Healthcare has a range of clinical solutions in MR to help clinicians get the information they need to make a diagnosis and treatment plan that is accurate and successful. GE Healthcare's technology diagnoses injuries throughout the body literally from head to toe. And this technology can be used throughout a player's career, from high school, draft, professional level, and after their career to ensure optimal health during retirement. I think the work that we do does help in, in uh, identifying when the patients or when the players are, are ready to come back to, to work, or ready, ready to resume play. To return to play or return to train or return to play rates are probably being reduced a lot more um, than, than what they were 30 years ago, mainly because of the fact that they have improved process. And one of the processes would be imaging and making sure that the testing of those, those graphs are done really well. Um, and so you're confident going forward that everything's good. When we do scan professional athletes, we then take what we've learned and we bring that into the general population. The injuries that we see uh, do occur in the general population, but the extent of the injuries are usually much greater in professional athletes. Well, I'd like to say to the parents of, of, of young athletes, um, if, if there's ever any question of any injury, to work with their referring physician, and then if there's an indication for an MRI scan, not to be hesitant about getting that scan, because it's very important uh, to do that. And you, you certainly don't want these young athletes to, to be injured and then continue to play and risk injuring themselves even further. MRI, I believe, is underutilized in, in sports medicine compared to other technologies such as ultrasound in that uh, MRI is not really operator dependent. It, with, with an MRI scan, if it, there's something, the pathology is there or it's not there, right? If there's a meniscal tear, we'll see it. Or for instance, if you're, if you're worried about a rotator cuff tear, we can actually see the tear, we can determine the extent of the tear, and it's not, it's not dependent at all on the person who's doing that test. Our techniques have changed over time as we've been scanning professional athletes. In particular, we, we typically will use 3D imaging a lot in those patients. So we have a total of seven MRI machines that have Eric Recon DL. Those include uh, five three Tesla magnets and then two 1.5 Tesla magnets. And it's been a tremendous uh, experience for us in, in, in using Air, Rock, Air Recon DL. We, um, we, we, we typically have two options when we're, we're doing Air Recon DL. One of those is to improve speed and the other is to improve image quality. So we'll, we'll do a blend of the two. So we'll do quicker images, but better image quality. I'm really impressed with the new technology, uh, Zero TE or Osteo uh, from General Electric. We use it typically in, in young female gymnasts. And uh, one of the most common injuries that we'll see in them are, are PARS defects. ZTE images have really helped us uh, to, to become more confident in our diagnosis not only from a complete uh, PARS defect, but also incomplete or even stress responses. So we have a great relationship with General Electric. It's really been wonderful for us. Uh, as far as sports medicine goes, uh, the, the equipment, uh, the technology, the surface coils, all of those things really help us in, in, in providing excellent service uh, to professional athletes. GE has a powerful MR solution, and in American football, it's the definitive tool for diagnosing injuries. And after recovery, getting optimum performance on the field. This MR technology is the platform of choice for clinical and research scanning in sports medicine. GE has a strong commitment to sports medicine, especially in American football. 
For over 100 years, GE Healthcare has been at the forefront of medical technology. Our discoveries and advancements lead to life-changing results for every patient, from professional athletes to juvenile players. GE Healthcare is there at every stage of their journey. With our rich history and bright future, this is only the beginning.